Okay, and welcome to my next video. I always wanted to say that like Bob Wells does. Anyway, 1951 to 1952 Singer Industrial Sewing Machine. It's on the original table, original motor. This one, when I first saw this machine, I thought it was the 31-15. Uh, it's not. It's actually a really loud train going by. It's actually a 16-188, which means it's an industrial sewing machine that was made for, let me get back here, doing light leather. Everybody always wants a leather sewing machine. Here it is. Let me read off of the website. The Singer 16-188 industrial sewing machine. It has, let's zoom in, upper and under feeding mechanism, me mechanism, blah adjustable independently so that the upper and under fabric can be fed slower or faster drop feed high lift presser foot of 9 30 seconds of an inch for sewing cloth or light to medium weight leather in the manufacture of waterproof covers bags tarpaulins leather trims etc it uses a 16 by 63 or 16 by 4 needle. Obviously, if those needles aren't the same length from the top of the needle to the eye of the needle, you have to adjust your timing. What I like about the machine is, we'll lift the foot here. I like the fact that the needle goes extremely high above the material. which means you can get in fairly thick material and I think I got a size 22 or 23 in here probably a little bigger than I need but that's what came with the machine um, which means you can get and look at the size of those look at the length on those feed dogs on the bottom there and pretty aggressive foot up here too and anyway let me see if I can sneak around back of the machine just to show you that drop the foot okay I hope the lights gonna work back here let's use this piece of white paper the old white paper reflects some light trick all right so you can see that thumb screw right there about in the center of the shot right now you can adjust the way the feet step so that they feed the same faster or slower than the uh, bottom feed dogs. And you can see in the back that nice heavy piece of metal coming out of the back. That's running your walking foot. You got a lever right there that operates your your upper tension to release it when you take your fabric out. And then I don't know I think a lot of people that are sewing with these machines, well I shouldn't say that, but I, let's say it this way, I get a lot of machines that come in that I buy where they're constantly screwing the pressure foot, the adjustment up here, they've got it all the way down. I see it all the time. They're pushing down on this presser foot as hard as they can. So really what they need to do is back this off. You only need, is, you only need a certain amount of pressure here. Uh, what you need to do instead of doing that is actually clean your machine and oil it properly from time to time. And you won't have to be you compensate by having a ton of pressure on that foot. You're just making everything work harder when you do that. So, And over here is our stitch length. Loosen this thumb screw, take it up for a short stitch, down for a big stitch. Obviously, if you're doing upholstery and bags, a big stitch is fine. And I'll get you on the tripod and run the machine here.
Alright. Zoom in. I've got a Tech 69 thread in the machine right now just because it was convenient and I had a yellow thread. A yellow thread and so you should be able to see it on the black fabric. I'll get the take up lever up here. You lift your foot. Loosens up the upper tension mechanism here. Pull your what you're working on out. And I'll start off. I've got some denim here, and I'm gonna go right to some old Naga hide. Right down the center, it's three layers thick. Let's fire up the old beast. Alright, and this is a walking foot machine. Okay, I ran it fairly quickly just because I wanted to move across that fabric and show you how good it'll just go from... This is the pant leg of denim, here and here, and jumped right to this naga hide. No problem. And it's on, right now it's on the biggest stitch. I'll try to go a little slower. I'll do a little hand wheel control here. So if I just hold back on the hand wheel a little bit, I can I can go a little bit slower. Stitches there's the back. I got gray thread on the bottom, gold on the top. Yeah, let's add some more. There's two layers of nog hide. So you can tell the machine was made for gloves and heavy duty work because it doesn't care what you put under there, within reason. Because in order for it to feed, this foot has to be able to step on the next layer. Oh yeah, here's uh two layers of leather, veg tan, it's about, this one's about an eighth inch thick, this one's about sixteenth of an inch thick. I'll just work my way ahead here. Okay, right now we have three layers of Naga hide and we're going to just keep going. So now we're up to about five layers. Two leather and three Naga hide. There we go. Okay, for everybody that asks me, oh, that got a little out of hand there. I did break the thread when I was trying to do the five layers. So I'm, and it did skip some stitches. So obviously, if you try to go that thick, that's too much. So I'm gonna say probably. Uh, let me turn the machine off. Probably could do. Two, la two layers of eighth inch leather or four layers of this Naga hide without having a problem. Any more than that, you're going to break your thread. So that kind of shows what you can do with the machine. And I have cleaned up the machine and timed it and all that good stuff. The uh, slide plate here it uses a class 15 bobbin which it's going to come with class 15 bobbins. It uses the same bobbin case as the 3115 and then just a class 15 bobbin. So we'll come with that obviously or it won't work. And then also have the, believe it or not, 1951. I still have, or I 
was did manage to get the original manual in a nice big size, easy for us people that need cheaters to read. Come, come with some bobbins, and then it'll come with some needles. I'm trying to get the toolbox back. Come with some needles. I'm gonna go through my needle collection and see if I can find some this length that aren't a 23 something smaller if I have any I'll throw a couple in and then just a fabric ruler and a what is in there? 8 gauge I forgot what's in here it is oh some hook needles uh, those will come with it alright I think that's everything you need to know it's got the bobbin winder over on the right hand side Thread, uh, two spool thread stand. Alright, thanks for watching.